Hello everyone. It is Sunday, April 2nd, and I just have a quick meal prep video to share with y'all. Um, I'll start down on this end. We had bacon uh, this morning as part of our breakfast, so I just went ahead and cooked up the rest of the package and split it out into a couple of portions that I can take to work um, to nibble on. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. Uh, the next here is um, a small uh, sirloin steak that was on sale. And I just put it in a crock pot. I sprinkled it with some of this Bear Foods brand Tex-Mex taco seasoning mix and a little bit of the adobo um, spice and let it sit in the crock pot and it got wonderfully tender. There's still some juice in there I can use if I need to. I'm going to shred that up. It was only about 0.8 of a pound, uh, so about three quarters a little over three quarters of a pound, so I'm probably gonna split that into three servings and then add um, a serving of these. I love these uh, Trader Joe's fire roasted um, bell peppers and onions. It's that great flavor, and then you mix it with the, the Mexican flavors of the steak, and that's gonna be a del delicious lunch or dinner. Um, so I'll have three of those. And then Sunday night, we typically grill out, and uh, my husband's planning to grill chicken along with some other meats uh, this evening for dinner and so with the leftover chicken uh, grilled chicken I'm going to stir up a quick little Asian slaw so I'm going to use what's left of this broccoli slaw add a little bit of the um, just the angel hair cabbage I've got a few radishes a little bit of celery to cut up so I'm going to probably make four different enough to make four servings of the slaw and then to that I'm going to use this bare foods um, Asian ginger dressing, which I have already used some of that, and it was delicious. I marinated some chicken, cooked some chicken in the crock pot um, using this, and then did some stir-fry veggies on the side, and it was very good. So, very pleased with that. Um, I forgot, I'm reaching back here. also have some fresh ginger and turmeric that I'll chop up and add to that. So, just healthy, delicious, quick, easy Asian slaw to go with our leftover grilled chicken. And speaking of grilling, uh, this was something new I found at the store, at the market, my market today. It's vegetables already chopped up and prepared and ready to go on the grill. And they say you just throw the, um, put the pan on the grill and let them cook here in the full pan. There's no seasoning or anything already on these. Um, it's just a mix of uh, peppers, zucchini, summer squash, a little bit of purple onion. Looks like I see a little bit of cauliflower in there. Um, yeah, so uh, again, super easy. It's going to be delicious with the grilled meat tonight. I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of avocado oil and sprinkle it with this Bare Foods um, garlic herb mix. Um, check out this brand if you haven't. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but their, uh, their seasonings are what you would make if you made them yourself. Um, just no sugar, no uh, MSG, no gluten, no anything. Uh, it's just it's just the spices and herbs. So yeah, so that's it. Um, again, I'll have uh, probably four servings of chicken and slaw and three servings of this um, Mexican meat and peppers and onions and a couple of servings of bacon for breakfast. And uh, it took it's taken practically no time to do that. So pretty easy. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.